Hey everybody, today on Henry's Hattus, I'm going to show you how to make Abgusht, or as some people call it, Dizzy. Basically, this is a Persian lamb soup, and the secret is when it comes to serving time, the lamb and the other vegetables are all mashed, and the broth is strained and served separately. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is grab ourselves a large pot. I'm going to make this recipe based on about six people to serve. So just into the pot, add about one cup of vegetable oil and just turn it to a medium heat. Okay, once your oil is hot, go ahead and add in two diced white onions. And basically we just want to saute these to their light brown. Okay, Okay, now we'll just add one tablespoon of turmeric. And about a tablespoon of saffron water. Okay, so now I'm going to add in two lamb shanks. And just one kilo of lamb necks. So I've got about six pieces here. Now what we're going to do is cover this all with water. Okay, so I've added 6 litres of water to this. The reason for this is it's going to be about 2 hours cooking time just to cook the meat. So it is going to reduce down fairly, but it will start to concentrate and the flavours will enhance. Now we'll also add 2 tablespoons of salt. A teaspoon of black pepper. About half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Now we're also going to be adding in three dry Persian limes, which are these ones here. Now basically to use these, grab a knife or a fork and you just want to make some small holes in them. This is so the water can get through and absorb it. Obviously be careful not to stab yourself either. Okay, so now go ahead and put a lid on your pot there. And we're going to want to leave this for about an hour and a half on just the medium heat so it simmers and then we'll come back and check on it. Okay guys, it's been about 15 minutes now. As you can see we've got a gentle boil going. 
Okay, now in the meantime, I've just peeled eight small potatoes. If you're using big potatoes, you can use about five. I've also got five tomatoes here, which I'm just going to dice. And basically, we're going to be using chickpeas. So I've got canons here. That's two cans. It'll be equivalent to about, I think, 400 grams once it's drained. And we're also using butter beans. It's the same again. We've got about 400 grams there. So after about another hour and a half, we'll go ahead and add all of this into the pot. Okay guys, as you can see, the water has reduced significantly. So we'll go ahead and add in our potatoes, tomatoes, the beans and the peas now. Now we'll add two tablespoons of tomato paste. Okay, so it's been a total cooking time of two hours now, so I've gone ahead and turned the heat off. As you can see, we've got a very thick uh, soup there almost. And our meat has cooked very well. So all we need to do now is strain this. Okay, so that's all the meat out. I'm just going to use my hands to just push some of that excess liquid out. Not all of it, but just a little bit. You don't want too much in this part. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll transfer this to another bowl and then we'll strain the entire pot. Okay, so just grab your pot and put the entire thing through the strainer. Now, as you can see, this one is fairly thick. Um, if it's too thick for you, just go ahead and add in some hot water before you strain it, just to liquefy it a bit more. And just give it a little shake around, get that excess water out. Okay, that much is fine. So we'll transfer this to another bowl. And this here, basically that's the soup. Or you can call it the ab. Basically ab gush stands for, let's say ab means water, gush is meat, so meat water. Doesn't make sense when you transfer other languages to English, but you know the idea. Okay, so that's all our excess there. Now guys, I'm just gonna use a stick blender for this. You can use a food processor if you want, you can even use a, a potato masher. Right, let's just go the easy way. So that's what you want in the end, almost like a, I don't know how to explain it, but like a glue. Um, it doesn't have to be completely pasty, as you can see, you can still see the chickpeas there, but that's fine. So now we'll go ahead and serve this. Okay guys, when it comes to serving the abgush, there's so many different ways of doing it. Uh, traditionally what happens is the broth is served first, so it's kind of like an entree soup, and then you go to the main, which is the meat part. But what I'd like to do is combine the two. So just in a bowl, I'll put the whole meat pot in there like that. Obviously depending on how many people it's for. Just like that. And then I'll just ladle the soup pot on top. Just like that. It's more modern like that. And basically it's both noodles in one, which makes it easier. And that's how we make obgush. It is a long process, but the result is very nice. I hope you like that. Please like and subscribe to my channel. I've got new videos every week. If you've got any suggestions, just leave them in the comments. And I'll see you guys next time.